Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're just going to talk about the Gospels. Who wrote the Gospels? Do we know who wrote the Gospels? Were the Gospels near the time of Jesus' life so that we've got accurate history? First of all, I want to say that the most important event in, in the first century for Jews, uh, first century AD, was the destruction of the Jewish temple at AD 70. Now, the New Testament documents don't mention this. And this is quite remarkable. So the fact that the New Testament uh, documents don't mention AD 70, the destruction of the temple, means that the New Testament was written before AD 70. So that means that the New Testament is early historical information about Jesus Christ. Now, also we have two testimonies by um, 2nd century um, early church fathers Papias and Irenaeus and these two categorically state that the writers of the Gospels were the Gospel of John was John the Gospel of Matthew was by Matthew and the Gospel of Mark was by Mark uh, a, a sort of understudy of Peter and using Peter's eyewitness account and information uh, John was the disciple of Jesus and the Gospel of Luke was written by Luke the physician who was a follower um, of the Apostle Paul now that's by these early church fathers and it's it's incontestable and anybody who wants to argue about that is just arguing um, foolishly so basically there's good historical information concerning who wrote the books at uh, the exact uh, the Gospels the exact dates the Gospel of Marks around about AD 55 to AD 70 um, a Gospel of Luke probably about AD 62 roughly I mean, you can't be dogmatic. We have a Ryland's uh, papyri fragment that dates of the Gospel of John that dates to earlier, probably even earlier than 125 AD, um, which puts it back probably, um, probably before even AD 70 because it doesn't mention again the temple destruction so basically we have excellent historical evidence to who for who we know wrote the books the gospels and roughly round about what times the gospels were written and that gives us good guidance concerning historical information about invest investigating the life of Jesus and when you throw into that mix the new discoveries that we've been making the last 30 years or more concerning first century Judaism and how the Gospels confirm that that the information that we're discovering that that the Gospels portray a first century Judaism perfectly um, and lots of other new research you know we have good solid evidence there and the skeptics skeptics have no ground whatsoever to stand on thank you for listening and take care